Greetings, YouTube. I've discussed bodily autonomy here on my channel many times. Um, in America, we are currently dealing with a pro-birth group, uh, often referred to as anti-choice, but they're just pro-birth. They want babies born. Specifically, they want white babies born. Um, they don't really care what happens to the babies once they're born. Uh, they just want them born because they are racists and they're terrified there aren't going to be enough white people in the future. Uh, they're terrified of the fact that someday the white people in America are not going to be the demographic majority, that the, we are going to have a uh, minority majority culture where there is no particular ethnic group that is above the 50%. So every group has some slice of that pie, but no one is above the 50% mark, which at the moment white people have. Because white people know exactly what happens to minority groups in America. And rather than set up a system that makes sure that every single person has civil liberties and human rights, robust civil liberties and human rights, so that it doesn't matter who's in charge, everyone will be protected, they're going to fight tooth and nail to make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay? Well, in some ways, it's, it's almost worse for women in Japan. What do I mean by that? If a woman in Japan wants to become sterilized, and does not have her spouse's approve, approval, she can face a $4,800 fine for wanting to have control over her own body and whether she does or does not have children in the future. Now, there are lawsuits involved at the moment, women fighting tooth and nail to make sure they can have make the decision about themselves, their own body, whether they don't want kids. I don't know what the social stigmas are against single women in Japan about this, but I'm sure that they're, they're horrible. I'm sure that the social pressures are, are, are there. But if you don't have a spouse, it is going to be probably easier from a, a legal standpoint. But I know of cases of many women who want to have themselves sterilized and they've never had children. And the doctor's response this many times is, well, what if your future boyfriend or future husband wants children? Like, some future man has the right to decide what you can do with your body now. Some future man has the right to decide whether you do or do not have children because he does or does not want children. Well, if a man wants children in the future, he better well figure out how to carry a kid then, shouldn't he? Because unless he can carry a baby, he should have absolutely no goddamn say whether someone else does or does not carry a child whether it's his or somebody else's. If you do not have the capacity to, to carry a child, you should get absolutely no say in the, in, the, in the idea of carrying a child to term. If you are a sperm donor, I think you should have no ability to decide if somebody else does or does not carry a child to term. You should have no say in whether someone does or does not get themselves sterilized before they have kids or after they have kids. It's none of your goddamn business. The only uterus you should be in control of is your own. And right now, there are women in, in Japan fighting for that. And I hope they win. There's an issue in Japan of the population. The population is flatlining. The population is not growing the way that the, the Japanese people would like it to grow. And they're terrified, apparently, of letting people come into the country to help alleviate that problem. Because there would be more than people all over the world that would be willing to move to Japan to help them with their labor, future labor shortages. Except the Japanese don't want them. The Japanese want Japanese people. Except the people that produce Japanese people don't want to produce more Japanese people. Because it's their goddamn bodies. And they should get to say whether they do or do not produce more Japanese people. So it's pressure from the state, it's pressure from society, and it's pressure from families, of course. Everyone wants them, you know, this unbroken lineage. My name's gone. There is no one to carry my name forward. There is no one left in the world, in our family line, to carry my name forward. It's over. My sister got married and changed her name. Her boys don't have my last name. My mother didn't have any children after my sister, so I don't have any secret siblings out there, nor did my father have any secret children. 
I mean, technically, my ex still has my name, but, you know, he's not in a position to have kids either. So my name is dead. I am the last man standing. And I am A-OK with that. Because I got to tell you, my lineage hasn't been one to be particularly proud of. And that should be my right. And it should be the right of every person out there who can carry a child to decide for themselves whether they do or do not carry a child into the future. So I hope the, China, I hope the Japanese folks win. I hope these women sue the living shit out of everybody in the entire goddamn country until they can finally realize, can finally be shaken hard enough to understand that if you don't have the uterus, you don't get to decide what, how it gets used. And it sickens me that they can be fined for having making a medical decision for themselves about their own body. That's that's warped and twisted. And I know it's rough for the U.S. for a woman to find it, but I don't think she can be fined anywhere for it, at least not yet. I'm sure that there are social conservatives watching what's going out in, in Japan right now and thinking, we want more of that. We want to be able to find American women if they don't have babies, particularly, of course, white babies. They want lots and lots of white babies in the U.S. Though, they remember, they don't give a shit what happens to the babies once they're born, so long as they're born. I've never quite understood that logic, but that's just me. Then again, I am not someone that strives to be a racist. I strive to not be a racist. I strive not to be a misogynist. And I want people to be happy and healthy, to have control of their own lives and their own bodies and their own futures. So I guess that makes me one of those radical commies that the right's always bitching about. But I hope that the women in Japan win. And I hope they get what they want. And I hope everyone can back off and leave them alone to make these incredibly hard decisions for themselves.